the outline I'll follow is as stated here, cassava, the challenges to mechanical cassava production in Ghana and Africa, objectives and the development of the tech mechanical cassava harvester, innovation, some of the attributes, some of the evidence that are there, and then conclusion and recommendation. This slide is talking about the traditional haphazard uh, planting of cassava, which makes it difficult to mechanize. And uh, here you can see the way cassava is planted. This is a major uh, challenge to mechanical cassava harvesting and production. So the objective of my study is to introduce and demonstrate and popularize mechanized cassava production and harvesting technology to boost cassava production for food security and industry in sub-Saharan Africa. The benefits of mechanization are many and as stated by the American Society of Agricultural, American Society for Mechanical Engineers, uh, engineering innovation in agriculture has been a major driver for advances in global food security and production, especially in developed countries. And as far as that same society is concerned, in the last century, the four most important uh, achievement are uh, the car as the first one, followed by Apollo, then power generation, and then agricultural mechanization. And uh, when you look at it, this slide resonates with what has been said earlier on, that is the changing role of human labor on the farm. I mean, since the time of Adam and Eve, man started to work as uh, uh, providing all the power on the farm, and that uses a lot of its physical power with a little time to rest, and the output is small. Then it tapped the power of the large domestic animals, and then that one increased the output. Uh, it is more comfortable because it's, it works while standing or walking. Then, with the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, we started in the UK using the steam engine, then the external, the, that's the external combustion engine, and then the internal combustion engine the productivity of mankind has increased tremendously. And now we are talking about the third and the fourth industrial revolution where we are using computers, microprocessors, and frontier technologies such like as artificial intelligence, smartphones, internet of things, 3D printing, 5G, and machine learning. So we are advancing a lot, but in Africa, most of the, uh, the food production is done using the rudimentary primitive instrument, the hoe and the catalyst. And this slide reinforces the previous one that by saying that where they use little power, low power in agriculture, especially in Africa, there is a lot of hunger too. So it is only in South Africa that they use a lot of uh, mechanized power and then they have a lot of food production and then uh, they have less hunger. Now, the, zooming on to the specific topic of developing the mechanical cassava harvester uh, for food security and industrialization. We, we have ad admitted or agree that cassava is grown within latitude 30 degrees north and south. And Africa is a, the leading producer with over 60%. But all this production is actually consumed with little left for processing and export. And we think because the production is that rudimentary, if we ingest some mechanization to it, it will quadruple the production and then we to, to satisfy the food production requirement, then we shall have surplus to produce, to process and then export. And that will create a lot of employment and uh, wealth to prevent our youth from trekking to the Sahara heat and dying, dying, drowning in the Mediterranean. So these are the leading producers, the 10 leading producers, majority of them are in Africa, with Nigeria as a leader. Then if you mechanize cassava production, there are over 200 products that we can get from cassava, but these 14 are the leading ones from bioethanol, 
through artificial rice, I mean, for animal feed, textile industry, pharmaceutical industry, and then even bioplastic and others, these are available. And this will actually create a lot of wealth for uh, producers. But the challenge to all these, most of the most of challenges that the, the whole, if you look at the tax involved in cassava production, harvesting, the manual harvesting is the most uh, painful aspect. And for that matter, we are focused on developing the harvester. So this is the way cassava is produced, is harvested now with in a stupid position, and this is so painful, it cannot be sustained. And then there is a, a, a picture of, a, a, you know, blisters in the palm of, I mean, young ladies that are harvesting cassava, it cannot sustain, that's five stems. And these, uh, these uh, to measure the drudgery, we are talking, we are using the heartbeat as a proxy for drudgery. And the higher the heartbeat, when you are doing the physical activity, the more painful, and strenuous activity is, and for that matter, you rest for long. And the solution to this is that we have developed a lighter uh, mechanical cassava harvester at KNUST. It is light and it is uh, can be pulled by most of the existing tractors. We have patented it, and then it takes one second to harvest a plant compared to five to ten minutes to harvest manually. And then we have produced about 60 prototypes, uh, and then deployed about 35 in Ghana, South Africa, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, and Jamaica. We have capacity to produce for to satisfy continental demand. This is a patent we have got. These are some of the awards also. And uh, when they, we harvest mechanical, like this is how the field is the field is it's exposed. So you just go and pick it, and this is very easy during the dry season. So this makes cassava available all year round. This slide is showing the drudgery level of the mechanical starter operator, and then two manual cassava harvesters. You see their heartbeat, and they were harvesting only ten. 10 plants and took them on average 70 minutes. Where at the same time, it has, the, the tractor operator has taken about, uh, has harvested about uh, one acre and above for the same period. So there's a high amplification of effort using the harvester. And we have proven that the, the cassava can now become an annual crop. So because the starch increases up to about 12 months and then start decreasing. So we don't need to lock the land again with cassava. And these are some of the lead, the four products that we have just taken, curry, high quality cassava flour, starch, and ethanol. And if we take the yield per kilogram, uh, we per, per ton of the fresh cassava, and then the yield that we get from the, the, that, that ton, and then the price in USA, we can get between 3.36 thousand dollars, or if we harvest on a 1 million hectares, about 3.3 billion uh, dollars for Gary to uh, as high as 5.4 billion dollars uh, per 100 million acres of land, and from 1 million acres of uh, hectares of land, and this is actually a, very, a game changer for cassava on the continent. So, but to do that, the benefit is that we have to plant cassava on ridges because even though cassava is heat tolerant, it can grow on marginal lands but it cannot tolerate flood. So we need to plant on ridges and need the ridges to help the roots to grow fast and then prevent flooding. And this is how it is set up. And then if it's done like this, it makes the whole process easy. And to do that, we have developed a ridge to conform because the existing ridges in my country are for horticultural crops with a narrow gauge. But for cassava, we need a special one, wider enough. And if you harvest cassava rapidly, we need to peel rapidly and the peeling is still done manually. So this also calls for some intervention. And this is how women are involved, ladies and the rest, and we need to tackle this. We have developed working on some bridges. And the con in conclusion, we want to say that this is the first mechanical cassava that's developed in Ghana, KNUSC for Africa. And then if you adopt this, uh, have a site to unlock the huge potential of cassava on the continent and make it a multi-billion dollar crop in Africa, must em embrace and promote this innovation to industrial cassava production to make agriculture smart, sexy, and attractive to the youth. Support is needed to extend the technology to farmers and tractor owners and other parts of the country to reduce drudgery. Do we need to promote this innovation to generate employment and create wealth and then export this uh, as a foreign CNN. And then some recommendations are that 
we need to establish pilot projects to train farmers and uh, operators about how to use these things. We need to upskill and disseminate the proven technology on the continent. And Africa and uh, Ghana must promote this technology to to domesticate Africa Agenda 2063, TISA 2024, and the SDGs. And Africa must patronize made in African goods and innovations to motivate African innovators and inventors. Thank you very much to AMA for the opportunity to present this. Thank you.